Hello everyone, I am Shilpa Rudravar and today I will discuss DSP Unit 4 that is Z Transform. Hope you all have gone through the notes shared by me. So let's start. So Unit 4 that is Z Transform. So what is basically Z Transform is? Actually Transform is a technique uh, which is used for analysis of signals and system. So you have gone through or you may know the word that is Laplace transform and Z transform. So what is basic difference between Laplace transform and Z transform? That is Laplace transform is used for analysis of continuous time signals and system. So in unit one, we have seen what is the continuous time system, what is the continuous time signal and discrete time system and discrete time signal. So Laplace transform is basically used for analysis of continuous time system where Z transform is used for analysis of discrete time signal and system, which is in frequency domain. As I have told earlier, what is the advantage of having frequency domain analysis is that if you want to separate out any unwanted signal such as noise, it is not possible in time domain. So you need to have conversion of that signal into frequency domain. So you will be getting different component of frequency and whatever you don't want, you can filter it out so that is the advantage. So in Z transform, you can plot uh, pole and zero plot, which is used for finding the stability of the system. And in digital filter design, it is play it plays a very important role. So what is Z transform? So Z transform of X of n. What is X of n? X of n is a discrete signal. Will convert time domain signal X of n into Z domain that is X of Z, where X is capital and here X of n, X is small. Just keep that thing in mind. So, whenever you are having X of n, the Z transform of X of n will be denoted by capital X of Z. And Z is a complex variable. So, complex variable means it is having value U plus J v that is u is the real uh, variable and this is a complex variable it is denoted by r e raised to power j omega where r defined the radius of the circle which is represented over here so this is the total z plane and you are having real part and imaginary part the value of real and imaginary part may vary from minus infinity to plus infinite so this is the thing that you know so what is this circle represent? The circle of radius R1 in Z plane. This is the Z plane where circle of radius R1 is there which represents all the value of Z1, all the value of Z1 having same magnitude R1 with variable phase. That is omega is the phase which is varying from 0 to 2 pi. So R1 is the magnitude and phase is varying from 0 to 2 pi. So, this circle is also called as a region of convergence where value of x of z, that is x of z, z transform, you are getting that are finite value. And if the system's output is finite, then the system is stable. So, definition of z transform, actually formula of the z transform is x of n, that is small x of n, is a discrete time signal and capital X of Z is the Z transform of X of N. So how to denote? What is the formula for that? So Z transform of X of N is equal to capital X of Z equal to summation X of Z into Z raised to power minus N where N change from minus infinity to infinity. As I told you, value of this u and v change from minus infinity to infinity. So, your input, input can change. That is, x of n can change from minus infinity to infinity. That is, we have studied causal, anti-causal and non-causal signals. So, non-causal is having values from minus infinity to infinity. So, this is what is the z transform. Now, this whatever equation we have seen, it is called both sided. That is the time index that is n, which has both positive as well as negative value. And that may change from minus infinity to plus infinity. And that case, this is called as two sided Z transform because I am taking minus infinity to zero as well as zero to infinity values of n. If this limit change from zero to infinity, that is the system is 
signal is causal signal which change from zero to infinity so at that time this is called a single sided z transform only difference between this particular equation and this equation is that the limits of n is changing from minus infinity to infinity over here but here it is changing from zero to infinity rest of the things are same so competition of z x of z involves how to find this x of n this is find by placing particular value of z and summing that part by keeping a value of n from 0 to infinity or minus infinity to infinity. So, important concept that is the region of convergence. ROC, capital ROC. What is that ROC? The value of z. This is the value of z for which, for which x of z is finite and lies within the region is called as region of convergence so earlier i told you here this is the for value of x z where uh, x of z is having finite value is called region of convergence that is beyond this if i am saying that this is the region of convergence beyond this system is having some infinite value so system is not stable only for the value of z which lies in between this region the system is stable so this is very important concept that is the region of convergence that is for the value of z whatever the x of z you are getting are the finite one so this is the equation summation where n is changing from minus infinity to infinity and whatever the z transform you are taking if that is the less than infinity the system is having stability then system is stable so what is the important of this z transform this z transform becomes infinite at location of pole the pole cannot lie in the region of convergence that is it gives the boundary for stability if poles are lying on the boundary of roc means beyond that system become unstable roc decides whether the system or filter is stable or unstable also roc determines sequence type whether it is it causal non causal finite infinite to see more related to roc we will go to the summary of ROC of discrete time signal. This actually explains what type of discrete signal you are giving, then what type of Z plane or ROC you will be getting. So, this will get clear again more uh, in detail after we will take certain examples. So, before that, we will just go through these things. So, what is this summary of ROC? There are total six type of sequence we have taken that is first is the finite right sided causal signal so finite right sided causal signal means it is having some finite values and it is on the right hand of the or right side of the n so value is changing from zero to certain value not infinity but it is finite value so at that time whatever the roc that is entire z plane this is entire z plane except z equal to 0 so at this point the system is unstable but other than that the system will be having some finite value that is x of z is having finite value same way second is the finite left sided that is anti causal so just opposite of this you are having some finite values but that lies on the left side of the plane or mm, waveform so that is called as an anti causal in this case your z plane or roc lies all over the plane except at the infinity it gives the infinite value so rest of the point that is at zero also or at, at some n point xyz point you will be getting finite values of x of z that is a z transform third is the finite that is two-sided Two sided means addition of this and this so but this is the finite value of sequences so here it is called as a non causal where only at two point that is z equal to zero and z equal to my infinity you will be having 
infinite values or system will not be stable but for the rest of the cases other than z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity the value uh, of x of z are finite so this is the roc or z plane fourth case is that same way we have seen that finite right hand uh, right sided uh, that is causal signal sequence same way we are considering now infinite case so in infinite right sided that is causal signal your value of x of n that is sequences will change from vary from 0 to infinity so at that case what will be the roc so here you are able to see the circle with radius r1 so region of convergence will be exterior to this radius circle of radius r1 so if the value of z if you are taking that is having this value so it is lying x of z will lie interior of this circle and that's why system will be not having uh, stability that you will be getting some infinite values of x of z but if the value of z is such that it lies in the exterior of, of this uh, circle r1 the system will be stable same case in infinite left handed uh, sidle signal that is anticlosal so here exactly opposite to this that is roc region of convergence where the value of x of z are finite that will be in the interior of the circle of radius r1 now if you combine this two that is infinite two sided that is non causal signal so this will lie that is roc will lie in between r1 and r2 so exterior of this and interior of this so like that it is in between so roc where the system will be having or x of z will be having the finite values will lie in this region which is shaded one so to understand this concept in the better way we will see the example so example will be like that uh, this determines a transform of the roc of the following discrete signal so this is the discrete signal you understand which type of discrete signal we have seen this is the causal signal which is having finite value so it is related to our first case so this is the finite right hand sided or causal signal so from this we can identify that this is the origin means x of 0 this is x of 1 this is x of 2 this is x of 3 so we have written over here and what is the value of x of n rest of the cases for other than 3 value is 0 so we can say my limit of that signals is from 0 1 2 3 0 to 3 so by definition of z transform you already know z transform is nothing but a z transform of x of n which is equal to summation x of n z raised to power minus n where n is changing from minus infinity to infinity as signal is causal signal and having length 0 to 3 so we are changing this limit from n equal to 0 to 3 so x of n into z raised to power minus n by putting this value and placing the value of n will have this equation that is 3 plus 2 z raised to the power minus 1 plus 5 z raised to power minus 2 plus say 1 z raised to power minus 3 to convert that into positive index we have just taken uh, replicated this thing like this now in this case suppose you put the value of z as a 0 if you are keeping value of z as a 0 what will happen 2 divided by 0 you will be getting which value that is the infinite again over here infinite so 3 plus infinite will be infinite and when your value of x of z is infinite the system is not stable so you want z transform to perform its operation of stability this value should be some finite value and that's why we are saying that in x of z when z equal to 0 except the first term that is this 3 because there is no relation of uh, this 3 with z because we are not having any factor multiplied by z so this 3 will be as it is all other terms will become infinite 2 by z infinite 2 by z 0 that is infinite 7 by 0 that is infinite hence x of z will be finite for only all values of z except z equal to 0 so therefore we can say roc is is entire z plane except z equal to 0 which we have mentioned in earlier slide 